It's not called win a home for nothing. You, the viewer, can win one of three completed apartments at Valdivia Estate, valued at over 3 million rand, by voting for your favorite design contestant's bathroom on privateproperty.co.za. Win a home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. Yes, and indeed, it's time for Winner Home on Afternoon Express. And don't forget that you can increase your chances of winning that grand prize apartment if you buy any Plascon product and SMS the keyword Plascon, the last six digits of the barcode, and your full name to 32979. This puts you in line to win a golden ticket, not like the one on those TV shows where you have to sing for a living, which allows you to be one of the finalists in the grand prize competition. T's and C's do apply. Now remember that the kitchen is that room in the house that you want to be both completely on trend yet feel homey and welcoming all while it is also functional. It is a space where we can create and while we want it to be inspired, we also are looking for beautiful lines, perfect surfaces and usability. So this afternoon we have Caesar Stone's marketing director Trevor King with us in the loft to share with us the local and international trends when it comes to the kitchen and aka my favorite room in the house. Trevor, welcome back. Thanks, Danilo. And great to be here. You know, you've traveled the world, and I'm very envious of your travels. You must have seen the most incredible architecture. You must have seen the most incredible kitchens, which I would just die to be in just for half an hour to make soup or something simple. Um, and there are a lot of trends going on locally and internationally. Let's talk a little bit about uh, how you think Caesar Stone are incorporating those international trends into something like surfaces. I think surfaces are an important part of a kitchen design because they're the tactile experience that you have. Mm. You're touching them, you're working on them all the time. So it's really important that, that the surface is, that you're comfortable with it, that it's working in the design of the kitchen. It's a very strong part of a kitchen design. Mm. Um, from a Caesar Stone's point of view, we've recognised that uh, the gauge of the material that we work with uh, needs to be varied. So we've introduced a 13 millimetre Caesar Stone mm. um, that allows you to use a thin surface and to mix it with a thicker surface all in the same plane, which is very much on international trend. Wow. Exciting development. Indeed. I've seen a lot of our design contestants actually using that 13 mil, which has been exciting for, for us to see them keeping on trend. Uh, but in terms of the other spaces in the house, uh, and particularly the kitchen, obviously, what other trends have you seen besides those surfaces becoming thinner? I think the other trend that, that I've seen is that um, the kitchen's becoming a far more intentional space. It's not mm. just a functional space. It's, it's a part of the house. It has a mood. It has an atmosphere. Lighting affects it. it, it the, the lighting is no more just functional. It's mm. now moody. It, it, it helps um, establish what you want to say about the kitchen. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's a great addition okay. to the kitchen design. Well, let's break up each of those different elements because one thing I've seen in terms of the trends has been the idea that you're trying to create space in the kitchen. So a lot of stuff is being put away into cupboards and, uh, you know, appliances being hidden away in, in certain aspects. And why is that? And expand on that trend for us. I think because it, it just comes back to the fact that the kitchen's just not a functional space. Mm. So now you set it almost like you would set... Uh, another part of the house ready to receive the guests that you were, were receiving. Um, the, the shelving in the kitchen, a whole lot more open and intentionally styled. Uh, open shelving, floor to ceiling, uh, back, backlit walls that have uh, shelves in front of them with opaque um, uh, glass in front of them. Yeah, just a, a completely different thing to what we used to. Which is interesting because our judges have all been com not complaining. They've been warning our contestants to keep an eye out on shelving because space is always going to be an issue and making sure that the contestants remain, uh, remain present to that and remain co cognizant of that um, because I think shelving is a big thing and I'm glad to see it's also moving into the kitchen. But let's talk a bit about lighting. You've mentioned it before. How do we go about creating trendy lighting and what are the trends in terms of lighting in kitchens? I, th I think the trends are that, yes, it has to be functional because you've got to work and then you've got to see what you're doing. But it, it's also got to set the mood. So, so the lighting, uh, there are feature lights. Lights are part of the design. When you yeah. design the kitchen, you don't just add a light and you actually add a feature light to, yeah. to develop the design. And, and also just to add light in dark areas to set mm. the mood. I see. Great, great idea. Technology also is moving in, in a really cool direction when it comes to the, the sort of kitchen spaces. I mean, a lot of the appliances that we're buying are, are quite trendy and arty in their styles. How do we go about incorporating good, trendy decisions when buying appliances? And, and what is going on in that space? I, I think the, there's so many great appliances available in our country, and there's, there's a lot more coming. Um, in, in Europe, I was seeing that there were digital scales built into the surface mm. of the material. Um, spots that you could just put your, your cell phone on, on, the, on the kitchen surface and it would charge it. Sure. Taps that, that just 
that all you did was turn your hand over the space and the, and the tap turned on or off. So great things coming, but um, right now they're, they're not here yet. Oh, well, it's going to get then. At that point, I think everyone's going to get even more and more excited about spending more time in those kitchens. Our design contestants are spending a lot of their time in the kitchen, and I'd really like to know from you how you're hoping to see them use your products. Well, I'm hoping that they use it intentionally so that it's used from a, from, from a functional point of view, but also just to break some of the stereotypes of how you used uh, Caesar stone as a surface material, to move it onto the walls, to move it into uh, building uh, sinks, to move it onto even the floor and, and possibly even onto the cupboard doors. Sure, good advice. Trevor, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome, it's such a pleasure. And uh, contestants, make sure you're uh, listening very, very closely. Remember also at home, entries for Caesar Stone's Kitchen of the Year 2016 are still open and will be open until the end of July. So if you have a beautifully designed kitchen which incorporates Caesar Stone that was installed anytime between the 1st of January 2015 and the 31st of July this year, this could be your opportunity to win really, really big. Simply log on to caesarstone.co.za where you can enter and find more details as well all of those T's and C's for that competition. And today is the last chance for you to vote for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom as well while you're online, so don't hesitate any longer. It's not called Win a Home for Nothing. You, the viewer, can win one of the three completed apartments at the Valdeby Estate, valued at over 3 million rand, by voting for your favorite design contestant's master bedroom on privateproperty.co.za. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank.